All right, here we have a specialized elastomer test machine. This machine was developed for the U.S. Army and Navy for testing rubber samples. The machine has multiple modes of testing. Uh, the one mode is vertical impact, where the top comes down and stabs into the rubber sample. The other one is the abrasion test, where the bed oscillates back and forth and the top comes down and scrapes back and forth on the sample. And the third is a rotational test. And this is where the, the platen spins and the top comes down and, and drags into the spinning sample. The machine was built on a knuckle press frame, so the platen is stationary here currently, and the top will come down into the sample. So here's the sample, and here's the holder, and this holder is temperature controlled with that controller there. Now in the head, there are three load cells. Uh, the first load cell measures uh, forces vertically, and the other two, there's one on each side, and those check the, the forces when the tuff is dragging across the rubber. Now because this, this whole assembly rotates in rotational mode, there's a slip ring down below for the heater wires and the thermocouple wires. The sensors in the top portion for the load cell come over here to this junction box and that's where you connect your data acquisition. So we'll just go ahead and, and try a couple modes out. Um, and then also, uh, the table tilts as well for, for changing the plane of the, uh, the rubber surface. Just push down over here. Go ahead and shut the guard. All right, first move we'll check is the, the rotational. So you flip this switch. Uh, and there's a, a digital motor controller here. So we just hit run. And then you can increase the speed or decrease it. And then if we flip the, we'll line this up. flip the ram switch, the ram will come down into the rubber while it's spinning. And you can set it for one shot or or when it, it'll come down and stay in the rubber. And then we'll try one of the linear modes.
So we'll turn the air onto the table and that'll move the table back and forth. And you have independent control over the speed in the left and right direction. So So we're slowing down the left direction now. And you can increase the right to make a very specific test. And then if we fly air to the ram, the top will come down into the, the rubber and drag across it. Just digging a groove into it. So there's also another mode, another linear test mode, where the top, instead of staying down in the rubber, uh, it, it pierces into the rubber, moves to the left, and then it retracts back up, and the table goes back the other way. So it's only dragging in one direction. That's called linear mode two.